Busy Strip Study is changing the industry with easy to use and flexible strip layouts by helping to create non-standard punches for efficient designing and by creating die layouts from templates. We will be using the Busy Progress Strip Study command. The first step here is to select the flat blank, then the starting point for the strip. So now that we have that selected, we can escape out and start setting up the parameters for our strip. Over on the right hand side, you'll see a list of all the different settings we can control. For instance, how many steps we're planning this project to be. At any point in time, we can come back here and modify these to change them how we want. Now we can start off by creating some punches. This will create a large punch that separates the two stages. We will then have to follow up by separating that large punch into smaller punches based off our strip. So here we're using the cut punch command. We will select the large punch and then we'll cut it in two separate points. The first one will be at the top. We'll switch the direction. Now we will create the lower punch. Following the same format as before, we'll select a point, select a direction. Now looking in the menu on the right, we see that as we click the different punches in the strip, they highlight. So then we can just drag and drop one of the punches to another stage and the strip will automatically update. Now we need to add in our carrier. So we'll be using the sketch line command from our busy modeling to draw in two lines which we'll then use to cut the punch once again and then create a carrier for our strip. I'll skip ahead for real quick and it'll look something like this. The next step is to attach the custom parts that we unfolded into our strip. So here we'll do that. We'll select a part, select the origin point, we want to match it up with the strip. We can then duplicate this process for each of the different unfolded parts. Each will update the strip automatically, as we can see here. Next, we will use our layer structure to turn on our bend punches. We will then use the strip study to add those into our strip. Once we've finished adding in all our punches, we can then finish creating our carrier. So, once again, we'll go back to our cut punch command. We'll cut this punch and then drag that punch all the way to the final stage, which will create our carrier throughout all the different steps. Now that our strip is done, we'll be using the progress tool command to design our die. Here we loaded in a custom template that we had saved. Now we're going to extrude all our punches throughout all the different plates of the die. And there you have it, a small taste of what Fizzy can offer in terms of 3D strip design. Thank you for watching.